The Boston Celtics are on track for a 64 win season as they yet again find themselves atop of the Eastern Conference. However, this isn't the same Celtics team that was dominating the East in years past. With the lack of real title contenders in the current NBA landscape, let's find out why this Celtics team is built different. In the realm of offensive strategy, the Boston Celtics maintain their aggressive approach, leading the league with an impressive average of 33 point attempts per contest. However, what sets this season apart is the team's ability to clinch victories without heavily depending on the success of their three point shots. This shift is notable and indicative of the Celtics adaptability and versatility on the court. The introduction of a highly effective pick and roll game with Chris Stapp's poor Zingas has become a go to move in the team's playbook. This strategic move has proven instrumental in unlocking Jalen Brown's full potential, providing him with the opportunities to showcase his athleticism through powerful dunks and open shots, contributing to an overall elevation of the team's performance. Despite Jalen Brown encountering shooting challenges throughout the season, connecting on only 33% of his three point attempts, the Celtics have demonstrated the resilience and resourcefulness. Unlike the previous season where Boston began with a scorching hot streak and led the league in three point shooting at an impressive 40%, they currently find themselves eighth in this statistical category. This change underscores a shift in the team's ability to win games without relying on the three point shooting. Derek White and Chris Stats Porzingis emerge as crucial figures for the Boston Celtics as their impact is felt when they are not on the court, leading to a noticeable shift in the team's performance on both ends of the court. Porzingis in particular plays an important role shaping the team's offensive strategy. His impressive 35% success rate from beyond the arc and an overall field goal percentage of 52% underscore his ability to stretch the floor and contribute effectively to the team's scoring. Beyond his offensive contributions, Porzingis has significantly bolstered the team's defense with an impressive average of 1.8 blocks per game. This rim protection coupled by his overall defensive ability adds a layer of reliability to the team's front court. What sets Porzingis apart is his versatility he brings to the offensive game. It's not just about his shot blocking and three point shooting, he also introduces a compelling lob threat. As an adapt screener, Porzingis displays a keen understanding of reading the defense, allowing him to make quick decisions to capitalize on the team's offensive opportunities. For instance, if the defense adopts a drop coverage strategy, he becomes viable for a three point attempt. While on the other hand, if the defense respects his shooting prowess, it creates opportunities for lob plays resulting in easy two pointers. We've seen Porzingis run these pick and roll plays with Jalen Brown, Derek White, and even Drew Holiday. Porzingis' multifaceted skill set serves to enhance Boston's offensive capabilities, making them a more formidable force compared to the previous season. With the trio of Tatum, Brown, and Porzingis on the floor, the Celtics consistently field five players with the capability to knock down three pointers, elevating the team's offensive prowess to new heights. The synergy between these key players not only strengthens the team's overall performance, but also adds a strategic dimension that makes them a formidable contender on the court. In the years preceding the current season, the combination of Smart and Williams struggled to provide the essential floor spacing that the team now benefits from. Despite the change in the supporting cast, Tatum remains the standout performer, maintaining an impressive average of 27 points a game with an outstanding 47% shooting accuracy from the field. Particularly noteworthy is Tatum's exceptional rebounding prowess, securing an average of 8.5 rebounds per game, showcasing a level of excellence uncommon for a player in his position. While Jason Tatum's scoring has experienced a slight dip from his 30 points per game in 2023, the presence of Chris Stapp's Porzingis has alleviated the need for Tatum to shoulder as much as the scoring burden. As the postseason approaches, there are high expectations for Tatum to yet again elevate his game and deliver standout performances, like his 51 points in Game 7 versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Despite facing the toughest schedule so far and grappling with shooting challenges, the Celtics have managed to secure significant victories over opponents such as the Bucks, Sixers, and Clippers. Along with these impressive victories, they also hold the league's best record. This resilience and ability to triumph over challenging circumstances underline the Celtics' capability to maintain their position at the top of the conference, reflecting on their strength and determination as a competitive force in this league. In the realm of defensive excellence, Drew Holiday and Derek White have emerged as standout contributors for the Boston Celtics. Notably, White's exceptional performance positions him as a potential candidate for an all-star nomination. His noteworthy statistics include an impressive 16.5 points per game on an outstanding 42% shooting from three and significant defensive contributions with 1.3 steals and a point guard leading 1.2 blocks per game. The synergy between Holiday and White in the backcourt establishes Boston as the third best defensive team in the league, trailing only the Houston Rockets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. This defensive prowess is evident to the ability to limit opponents to a mere 109 points per game, showcasing the team's commitment to a well-rounded defensive strategy. The Celtics' defensive arsenal is characterized by a combination of stellar one-on-one -on -one defenders and effective team-oriented defensive tactics. Derek White's individual brilliance seamlessly integrates with the overall defensive approach, contributing significantly to the team's success on the defensive end of the court. Drew Holiday's recent surge in efficiency and steals further enhances his impact on the team. His veteran leadership and championship experience is an invaluable dimension to the Celtics, solidifying their status as a formidable contender. Drew thrives at being able to fight over screens and play elite on-ball defense, while getting into passing lanes and even blocking shots. And you can't ignore Drew Holiday's offensive game as he consistently shoots near 40% from three. With Holiday, the Celtics look complete as every player on the court can both score and play 
defense at a high level. The defense of Jason Tatum in particular has been a super underrated part of his game for years now. As in the 2022 NBA playoffs, Jason Tatum played great defense on Kevin Durant as Boston swept Brooklyn. Boston Celtics fans believe that this is finally the season where they're going to break through, but achieving an all-time great status demands strategic enhancements. Notably, Jason Tatum's assertiveness stands out as an area that the team needs to improve upon. His often overlooked passing skills contribute substantially to the team's dynamic. Although he's a great passer, the Celtics need him to consistently score every game. As when his three-point shots are falling, this team goes to a different level. Throughout the season, the Celtics encounter difficulties in the third quarter, marked by an offensive rating of just 94 points, making them one of the worst teams in the league at this area. However, a noticeable shift occurred during their December West Coast road trip. In a remarkable turnaround, the offensive rating in the third quarter skyrocketed to an extraordinary 154 points, a stark improvement and a testament to their adaptability and performance on the road. Boston's success is underlined by their remarkable ball movement, which is widely considered to be the best in the league. That commitment to creating optimal scoring opportunities is evident as they prioritize passing up good shots in favor of generating great ones, orchestrating plays around the perimeter with precision. The defensive tenacity displayed by the Celtics adds another layer to the team's elite status. Unlike some teams that may focus solely on offensive firepower, Boston takes pride in its ability to shut down opponents, making them a well-rounded force to be reckoned with. In the Eastern Conference, the Celtics find their fiercest competition in the form of the Sixers, Heat, and Bucks. When contemplating a playoff series, the Celtics appear to be well-positioned to overcome challenges from Miami and Philadelphia in roughly six games. This confidence is rooted in the team's exceptional teamwork, shooting accuracy, and defensive grit. However, Boston recognizes the unique threat posed by the Milwaukee Bucks. The dynamic duo of Damian Lillard and Giannis under the Kumpo presents a formidable combination that could potentially tilt the balance in a seven-game series, making the Bucks a team that demands special attention in the postseason. As the playoff picture unfolds, the potential clash between Boston and Milwaukee will become a focal point, adding an extra layer to the anticipation and excitement to the postseason storyline. As we've previously delved into, the Boston Celtics have demonstrated a commendable proficiency in their backcourt defense, which will come in particularly handy when facing off against Damian Lillard. However, the recent trade involving key players such as Marcus Smart, Grant Williams, and Robert Williams has inadvertently created a void in the Celtics' defensive lineup, particularly concerning their ability to effectively guard Giannis under the Kumpo. Envisioning the potential playoff series, there is a prevailing expectation that Giannis would replicate his stellar performance from the 2022 playoffs, as Giannis would likely average 35 points and 15 rebounds. On the flip side, Damian Lillard may face considerable challenges given the formidable defensive duo of White and Holiday. That could prove to be an overwhelming obstacle. While it would be important for Boston to shut down Damian Lillard and Giannis under the Kumpo, they also must be wary of the considerable threat posed by the former All-Star Chris Middleton. Middleton's potential to return to his peak performance remains uncertain, but it can't be disregarded. With all the attention on Giannis and Dame, expect Chris Middleton to have wide open looks. If I had to predict this series right now, I would take the Boston Celtics winning in six or seven games, but the Bucks are getting better. It's crucial for Boston not to underestimate the resilience and capabilities of the Milwaukee Bucks. The rest of the season is going to be immensely important for the Boston Celtics, as it represents a pivotal moment to either secure an NBA championship or, at minimum, make it back to the NBA Finals. The consequences of falling short on this endeavor could result in a narrative around players like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown taking on a negative tone. Fans and media members alike would begin to pronounce this Boston Celtics team playoff chokers, similar to what Dirk Nowitzki and the Mavericks suffered before they won the title in 2011. Unlike past seasons where the team fell short of its goals, the current season carries a distinct sense of promise. With rising stars such as Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown entering the primes of their careers and the impactful contributions of the new additions, the Celtics not only demonstrate the elite prowess on both ends of the court, but also emerge as strong championship favorites. If you had to guess who's most likely to stop the Boston Celtics from winning their A-team's title, who would it be? Let me know in the comments below.